The following was recorded by corrupted podcast member Joe Cronin, myself, on the Discord server. More episodes to come, but enjoy episode one of Discussions of Discord. To visit our Discord page, the link is in the description box down below. For special permissions and VIP permissions, make sure uh, you are a Patreon on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. The following is a production of Corrupted Entertainment in association with the Joe Cronin Show. Listen to other episodes and shows on youtube.com slash corrupted podcast. That's why I'm so glad that for the first 12 years of my life, smartphones didn't exist in that, you know. Oh, dude, I was able to play outside back in the woods for <laughs> hunt for frogs and shit. Uh, it was great. I, so I know how to survive without internet. But it just, you know, that's, I feel bad. For, like I said, like you said, old man, baby, I feel bad for these kids now that have to it's just gotta rely be on internet. It's got to be difficult. Oh, dude. I, 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 I want to make well, me feel like maybe they should have like an age limit on social media and <laughs> cell phones. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, that would be a scare. Well, yeah. But it's true. I mean, look at the well, negative. You're, you're tiptoeing a little bit have. towards fascism with implementing any kind of laws. With yeah. that's, see, that's that's like that's that. where it gets touchy, and that's where it gets. Yeah. Uh, I get what you said. All, though, uh, socially awkward and intense. Doesn't work. It's not going to work. I get it. There's a question of morality <laughs> and everything there too. You know, like, yep. are you taking away people's freedoms? Are you allowing them to have the same privilege of a decent life like you do? Yeah, you know, but that's the same thing where you have to deal with where you get a license to drive a car. You have to wait. I mean, not a lot. Everybody does. Maybe not. But well, I mean, I've even made the argument that I think like a couple should have a license even to have a child. You know, I would go. I would go that hardcore. In in, yeah, in in my would. society, I would say, you know, if, if you contribute to society as a whole, if you're improving your life and if you're in a stable, loving relationship where you're able to properly care for a child and they will have all the tools they will need to grow up happy and healthy, then by all means, here's your fucking license. Go out and fuck like rabbits and make awesome fucking babies who are going to help lead us into the next generation, your space travel, whatever, so we don't fucking <laughs> annihilate ourselves, man. The, there are There is no fucking parental factor in society anymore. People are just letting their fucking children do whatever they want and it's growing up on the internet and that's terrifying well, bro uh, yeah well i'll tell i'll say this though as well far and then as they like have a gun at home that's the, that's where it comes into play people. is now they get now you got a gun now they're online and then they get mad at somebody yep. they don't know what to do but i know where that gun is but you go ahead and look well, i'm sorry that, that's just yeah it's just well there's been studies going out that people my age millennials as they like to call us now i hate that fucking word um so yeah. boys Oh, that we uh, <laughs> that we can't. We're not even having as much children as like the baby boomers anymore because no, uh, yeah, the birth rate has gone down. Well, here, this is something I was just talking about earlier. It's probably a positive yeah. thing. Like gr- growing up right now and mm-hmm. and being being a young man in mm. in this climate where masculinity is being frowned upon and almost attacked. Like it, you know, so you are dealing with all this stress where you don't even know where you fit in with life and then you have all these women who are getting into this radical third wave feminism where it's all about you know men are oppressive men are scum men are pieces of shit this uh misandry mindset where Mm -hmm. all men are the cause of all our problems so you have all these women growing up with that mindset and they start to get older and they notice their biological clocks are ticking but yet they can't settle down with a man because they've been so oppressive and men no longer how to approach women terrified to even ask for their phone numbers because they're worried if they're going to be accused of mind rape (laughs) on the internet well here's another thing about that dude aren't we going this route check this out we're going into the route, guys. This is insane. It's going to blow our minds, but it's going to happen. We're going into the area where that same woman that you talked about, that like maybe they didn't find a husband or maybe they want to have kids, where, where we're going to have, it's going to be normal to have just dudes waxing it so that it's on, on uh, you know, put on a grill for the women to come in and just be like, I want a kid. Well, here's all the guys' stuff you can choose from. And then you have a kid oh, uh... single, uh, single, single woman. So you're going to see tons of people of women just like don't have a husband, but I'm 38 now and I want to have a baby and I'm like rich now or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm well off. I'm re- and they'll just go in and pff, implant me and yeah. I'm good and they'll be able to have babies and that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're definitely leading in that direction. And 
Check it out. You'll even be able to customize the right. genetic traits. I want of your brown children. hair. Well, I want my kid. I want my kid to have curly hair. I want my kid to have uh, olive skin. I want my my kid to have bright green eyes. You know, I want him to be smart in mathematics. Well, so we're basically up. becoming the newest. To- we're becoming the newest toys. Which but right. check it yes. out. Check it out. It's going to be like online games on your phone. There's going to be a paywall. They're like, <laughs> okay, if you want, if you want green eyes, you have to download the fucking. Uh, like the full game, you know what I mean? You're going to have to pay four ninety nine to get the bonus content. <laughs> I want him de-haired. I want my son to have no hair. Yeah, oh, I want God. him to be smooth. He's going to be an Olympic swimming champion, you know, so I need that upgrade. Fuck, it's 99 cents, so my kid is hairless. Yeah. Fuck it, I guess we'll do it. For we're extra. Gonna, it's, we're going to turn into <laughs> Jurassic Park. We're going to turn into the newest Jurassic Park all over again where they make the new dinosaur, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't, th- and I don't think yeah, like I any don't of this. I, I think that way leads <laughs> fucking pure evil. I don't think oh, this is gonna be. I don't think this is gonna be like the norm for everybody. But I do think like what we just said will be a good, could be a good twenty to thirty percent of the population's way of living. You know what I mean? That, yeah, if you can afford it, that's the yeah, yeah, that thing. too. Well, yeah, well, then yeah, it will be a right. Oh. It might be a right or something. Not only that, not only if you could afford it, but your social standing will have to be high enough. I was just reading this article earlier where China is going to implement a point system for passengers on airlines and public transport. If your social score is too low, you will not be allowed to use this transportation. Oh, my God. Dude, once that's, hey, wait once a second. that's implemented into transportation, dude, it's going to become widespread throughout all society. You'll be able to check online. Like, you'll have a friend with a low score who is bringing your overall score down, <laughs> so you will have to cut that friend off if you, you want to boost your societal number. Do you know oh, the – um, That's where I, we're headed. I got to get out of here. But it only takes one. I want to say, did you see the Galaxy uh, – the – the, whatever that the new show the um, what's it called the one that we the uh, the Orville did you see the Orville episode with the likes up likes down yes. on the people that episode yeah. the whole concept was awesome in that a way was amazing there like, was looks like there the was society episode... we actually live in yeah it is it's kind of like what we sort of do live in like you can be really in, screwed over based it's... on that. But um, it's in in real life social media. I record I, I recorded this whole thing so it worked. I I just went back and I looked, dude. This worked perfectly, guys. So I'm glad you're in here to test awesome. it. I'm gonna get out of here. You guys can keep talking. It's not gonna record anymore. Um, but if you want, I'll put what we talked about up on the uh, Patreon. If you guys are all right with that. I'm down. Go all for right. it. Dude. I'm gonna take out the part about, <laughs> but everything else was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please do. I'm already in a getting yeah. enough heat. I've that. already I've only got 19 <laughs> I've got 19 minutes. But yeah, so so when I do recordings live and I'm just what? chatting. Uh, the live recording down below will be there. All right, but I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in a little while. Later, Joe. Enjoy. I'll be back. Thanks, right. Joe. The following is a production of Corrupted Entertainment in association with The Joe Cronin Show. Listen to other episodes and shows on YouTube.com slash Corrupted Podcast. This is Corrupted. This is Corrupted. Corrupted. The Corrupted Podcast.